excited about this. So pumped. If you guys are new here, this is my mom. This is her house. If you want to know more about her, check out the Crazy, crazy Middles. middles. <laughs> and if you're not new here and you've been with us for a while, then you know how much we love fall. We love to go all out for fall. Yes. This is where we thrive. I know it's not really fall yet. <laughs> no, not really. But we're hoping by decorating and getting ready, it's going to bring in the fall yes. even faster. And we wanted to get everything decorated early for you guys so that way you can find some inspiration in this video as well and get excited about the upcoming season. Before we go inside, I wanted to show you guys the front porch. She doesn't have a super big front porch. No, this porch is here. actually pretty small. It's pretty small, and actually, we can't do a lot because when it rains, it pours and it like drenches the whole thing. And we've thing. had a lot of rain yeah. lately. <laughs> so, we have to keep it really minimal here on the front porch. So, one of the things that we focused on this year is reusing decor from previous years. So, this is her third year in the house. And so we have um, a lot of decor that we've accumulated. And so we're really focusing on reusing things this year. So you guys, if you caught last year's house tour, you probably recognize this wreath that I can't believe is still standing. Three years in a row, we love it. I think it's from Kirkland's Hobby Lobby, maybe one of the two, but it's beautiful. It's still going strong. So of course we're reusing it. We also have these floral arrangements that we made year one that we still love so much. I think they're beautiful out here on the front porch. A sweet little welcome sign. I wanted to bring, of course, some natural elements to the front porch as well. So we have some wood pumpkins. I think these ones are actually made for exterior. I've used them interior before as well, so don't be afraid to do that when you are decorating. But I love this space. Even though it's really minimal, it's still a great way to welcome fall into the home. Come on in. I'm so excited to show you guys around. Before we get started, I do want to tell you guys about my new favorite DIY accessory from Milesy. They were so kind to sponsor today's video and I'm excited to share some of their amazing tools with you today. Milesy specializes in intelligent measuring tools. I have their DP20 Pro, which features multifunctional measuring, an easy to read display, and it's Bluetooth so you can sync your measurements straight to your phone. You can measure one way, two ways, take an area measurement, volume measurement, and so much more. If you guys have been with me for a super long time, then you probably remember when my mom and I DIY'd the curtains in this living room. <laughs> it was so crazy. It was wild. We had the measuring tape like up as far as it would go. It kept falling backwards on us. A lot of you guys had some helpful hints, but and we tried some, but nothing yeah. really worked on measuring these windows if until I, now. Yeah, if I I'm had so had this excited back about then, this. If I had this, oh my gosh. It would have been so much easier Done. and so accurate and like, oh yeah. gosh. Love this. I also love that this tool is lightweight, super easy to use, rechargeable, and has a really long battery life. I think that this would make a really wonderful gift for the holidays and the upcoming season for a loved one. Milesy is offering a 30% discount for my followers. You can scan the QR code on the screen or use my code and my link in the description below. Thank you so much to Milesy for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let me show you guys around. Starting in the entryway. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just address the elephant in the room. The staircase. <laughs> <laughs> what is the elephant? What is the elephant? <laughs> okay. We finally did it this year. We did garland on the staircase. We've never done that before. Never and I that. didn't know how I was going to like it at first. We weren't sure. But I ended up really loving it. <laughs> it's so pretty. And of course, you guys have seen us do it for Christmas. But we want to do it for fall this year. We were able to find a really pretty affordable garland. Yeah. From Hobby Lobby. Yeah which was amazing. Um, the garland, I think each garland was like six feet. It came in about $6, yeah. which is incredible. Which is incredible. So, so we looked at some that I was like, there's, I'm not paying $75 when for a you piece have of garland. a staircase when, this big? Yeah, yeah, yeah. impossible. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what we did is we did it a little bit cheaper and then we just added in pumpkins and added in things. Yes. I say we like I did any of you it. You did, you did, you helped <laughs> me do the whole thing. I, I held it while she attached <laughs> it is what I did. You did <laughs> so anyways, so she put pumpkins and little things in it that just made it look so much more yeah. expensive. A little with bit more special. Yeah, but it wasn't and that much. As you can imagine, we bought all the pumpkins. All the pumpkins for the, we were at Hobby Lobby, we bought all of it. 
Yeah. So that's why you have to shop now because people like we us already bought it all. I'm sorry. Come here and then we buy it. So <laughs> <laughs> I did want to also share with you guys this buffet table that we love decorating for every season. We do. Yeah. We have your favorite picture. So this year, little quick story. This year, um, Anna Vea, I had it downstairs and she was moving it and she dropped it and broke it. So and I was so sad because <gasps> it was like something that I really, really loved. And yeah. then Jared surprised me with a new piece of glass and it's all fixed and we get to have it up this yay. year so yay. it's perfect for this space we got this at old brick house uh -huh. last season we love shopping there every year they have such an amazing market come fall time and you can find really unique pieces like that one thing like i mentioned that we are doing this year is repurposing items so we've had this little tin vase for a couple years now for a long time yeah a long time and it was and silver it was silver and we spray painted it white to repurpose it and i feel like it's so perfect it's it's perfect in this yeah. space yes and we found these really pretty um, stems from Hobby Lobby this year so these are new if you guys want them go to Hobby Lobby and get them they're really beautiful I didn't want this to be too overwhelming obviously the staircase in the it's right when you walk in it's a lot so I really tried to make sure that everything else tied together but in a more muted way yes. I also love to layer things when I'm styling you know little spaces one great way and a wonderful tip to really make a space look cohesive is if you just put everything in a little tray. Yeah. Put it in a tray. It will make everything look styled together instead of just having everything kind of like thrown on there. I do love to decorate in varying heights as well. I also kept with a really simple color palette here um, with some different items that are just a little bit more interesting to look at. And then we just finish off the space with this really um, simple little ball truck. Mm -hmm. I think we got this from Yeah, we, so we do have that. La we got it last yeah, year. It even year. lights up. It does. But it has to, I have to say my favorite thing up here is just this little pumpkin. Um, little pumpkin. I know. <laughs> Kylie surprised me with three of them. She knows that I have a thing for sweater pumpkins. For sweater pumpkins. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually had it for years. So if you see a lot of pumpkins around my house that have sweaters on them, I just think it's the cutest That's thing. That's her all-time favorite. I know. Put a sweater on a pumpkin and like, you have me. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Let's talk about the living room. I love this space this year. So of course we are reusing so many things from yeah. last year. And one of the, it's so difficult to decorate this fireplace. This <laughs> fireplace, it, it takes big ladders. A big, it's a thing. It's a whole thing. It's a yeah. production. We have to find super big items to go up there. Yeah. The garland that we have up there is from uh, Hobby Lobby. We've had it for a couple years now. I think I still saw it this year there, yeah. but I used it on different fireplaces in the past. So yeah. I'm just kind of like, moving things around i just feel like you're not talking about the most important thing what? that you did up there okay so <laughs> one of my favorite things that kylie did this year is we had so many old pumpkins from yeah. a few years ago that had been outside they got sun damage yes. they were they were they needed they, the, they looked like they should have been thrown away and yeah. that's what i was thinking i was like oh when we saw them i was like oh you can just toss those out and she's like oh no 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 <laughs> yes and so she has been making pumpkins that are the cutest thing and so at the top of our mantle, she has some painted pumpkins that if you knew what they look like, oh my you gosh. would have thrown them away. Yeah. So I love that you're repurposing this year. I love it. Saves, saves me money. And yes. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I feel like it's so fun to make them custom. So mm -hmm. we actually took some pieces. We took a pumpkin and some of the stems off the garland. We took it down to the hardware store and looked through Everything. Like everything, all the different paint colors. We looked at spray paint and we just tried to match closely to those colors. Cause she do, she really is great at doing like moods. I, I feel like, like to is what it is. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if you notice every year my mantle has like a different it's mood. Weird. It can be like, you know, really <laughs> light and light colors yeah. or dark, a little more moody. I just love it. I, I love decorating in that way. So it was really fun to be able to have the pumpkins match with the garland because it definitely created its own little vibe up there. And we were able to repurpose some items. So another thing that we have going on in this living room, we have a really simple centerpiece. This is such an easy way to add height to a space. I have two really simple stems in two vases that are like really simple. I also 
chose to do those vases in there because they tied in with the one at the entryway so it was a great way to add some repetition into the area and they also look a little bit aged which is nice i think we just got those from hobby lobby we did as yeah. well i think I'm yeah sure they were actually they sell yeah yeah and i added some really simple uh, pillows in here with little pops of orange to really tie in with the staircase as well but not be like too overwhelming because like i said the staircase is the star of the show in the whole space for sure into this dining room. I kept this so simple in here. So simple. Yes. Yes. But we've been shopping for a vase for yeah. a year. We shopped for this vase for an entire year. I'm yeah. not kidding. It took us a really it long time. really good. We found this at Home Goods recently. They've been having such great vases this year. And I feel like vases with some really simple stems is so on trend. It's so easy. We found these um, stems at Hobby Lobby. So I, these, like might be my all time favorite. Same Sounds here. Better. And when she told me, so I think I'm just old school where I feel like if there's a vase, I have to put as many flowers as I possibly can in it, all different kinds. It has to have lots of height. Like that was my idea. So when she just pulled out I'm like, some here, like little, here we go. I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> This isn't how it's done, but it's actually so good. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's a little bit minimal. It's minimal, which is what I'm going for. I yeah. love it. Love it. I also wanted to add a little bit of a natural element in here. So I added some of these pumpkins. I think they're really yeah. sweet. And I got to pick the runner. <laughs> that's cute. It's cute. I don't think that Kylie loved it when I first bought it, but I no. think it turned out really it good. It turned out really good. I love yes. it. And this space is just like simple. We've had our little gather sign up here for a couple years. Forever. I think they still sell it at Kirkland's. Yeah. But are, are grateful. I, I think I said gather. I'm grateful. grateful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's funny is she, I had one up here yeah. and then we trade it. So her and I are really good about trading. Like, oh, you want this in your house this year? I'll take this. And then <laughs> after I gave it to her, then I missed it. But then I didn't want to get it back from her. So I had to go buy a new one. <laughs> She so when she it. saw it, she was like, no, you did it. I was like, why did you do that? Oh, no. I could have brought it back to you. Yeah. Sorry. So we both side, side story. Keep but going. We keep it up there. We, both, we love it. We and love it. It's perfect for fall. And it's so, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Bathroom or this room? Let's do TV room. TV room yes. first. Okay. I'm so biased. Because I love this room. <laughs> no, wait till you see this fireplace that she did. It's my favorite one. I'm just biased because I built the fireplace and I feel like it's already just a really pretty space to start with. Yeah. So then you just add to it and it's like, bam. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, You've really done a good job with this fireplace. Oh, when, this is one of the first, um, oh, what do I want to say? I guess fireplaces are areas of the house that she worked on. She was just helping me move some stuff off the top of the mantle before <laughs> and it was a brick mantle yeah. and the entire thing fell on the floor. It was so bad. And she was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what do we do? <laughs> we have to make a new one. So she actually so made bad. this from scratch and she did the tile work, she did everything. And it's it's, it's just one of our favorite places in the house. We still she really love did a good job. It. Still love it. Still love day. it. Um, this was the garland I used on the big fireplace out there last year. So I brought it in here this season. It is such a vibe. It is its own little vibe. We did the same thing that we did with that fireplace. We took some of the leaves here and then we had, um, I painted these pumpkins as well. So this was an awful orange. It was terrible. <laughs> it was really so cute. Now it has a new life and it matches with like, we did pretty good yeah. matching. Yeah. Um, so that one is painted. I feel like you would never know. And then yeah, this one up so here is painted as well, which is really fun. These came from my house. So I wasn't kidding. We do trade back and forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you guys have seen me use these probably for a really, really long time. I had these up on my mantle for a very long time. I wondered where they came from. I yeah, was like, oh, it's my house. I cute. was like, oh, I need those beads. Um, <laughs> and these pumpkins are so, oh, I love them. They're so cute. We have two of them here. I mean, these are from Kirkland's. I think that they still have them this year. I think yeah. I saw them online. At the yeah. Store. Well, we bought them last year and then, and then we didn't use them. I, they got put downstairs and just out of yeah. sight, out of mind. And then after everything was done and we were putting Christmas away, I was like, Oh no, no. these were so cute. Yeah. And so we made sure to get them out this year. Sometimes this happens to us where we're, we'll be out shopping. We buy stuff, we come home, we put it down, the kids move it and we forget and it's gone. That just is what happens. <laughs> 
Um, another thing that you guys probably notice in a lot of my decorating, I really like to focus on symmetry. So if you look at this fireplace, I have it styled in a way that I have height on both edges and then it kind of comes down into like a little V if you will to kind of create that symmetry. I love to really use some repetition in spaces. So I have two of the same candlesticks, but they're varying heights. Same thing here. I have two vases that are the same, but they're varying heights. I really like to add a little bit of elevation to items when I'm decorating to just kind of give it, you know, some interest when you're looking at things. I have really simple vases with really simple stems. I feel like stems and vases are just kind of the way to go this season. Super popular. I think that was really on trend last year as well, but I really love the way it just pulls the whole space together. Yeah, this is so great. I love it. You guys probably hear the dogs barking in the background. It's because the pool guy just arrived. <laughs> so they're going a little bit crazy, but I wanted to talk to you guys about the centerpiece that we have on the coffee table here and how we have this style. I actually found this centerpiece at Kirkland's. If we see a centerpiece like this, we almost always buy it. We love them. If you can find them where they're really full like this, I feel like they are always worth the price because usually they're a little bit more pricey, but I thought this one was really pretty. And one thing that we did differently this year that we've never done before, we were out shopping. I forget where we were at that we were so inspired by a rug on a coffee table. So it's really hard sometimes to find runners that are the correct size or look you know, proportionally correct for a table use a rug. So this is a little rug that we also found at Kirkland's. I feel like it is perfect for this coffee table. If you wanted to find even a runner, like a rug that's a runner and put that on your table, I think you can find some really interesting patterns and just different styles to really mix up your space. This bathroom is the most used in the house it's by so far. Floor. Yeah. yeah. So we always like to add a little bit of decor to it. So this year, <laughs> I also have some little pumpkins in here that I'm excited about that I DIY. Um, I put this together and I feel like it's just really sweet for this space and just adds a little bit of fall without being too overwhelming. We have other things in here, pumpkins that can get wet, okay? Because <laughs> with the kids, they can definitely get a little splashy in here. So we have pumpkins that can be wet. This windmill, one of you commented, I posted a reel recently. I used this windmill up on the uh, fireplace in the front room last year and you guys were saying how much you loved it. I think I got this from, I think it's from at home. It's so sweet and so just simple for fall. So we have that in here. We also added this hello fall sign. This is from Hobby Lobby. We have had this for a couple years. I still have seen it there. So if you guys want it, go get it. I've used it on the mantle in the living room a couple times and I just think it is so perfect for fall. Coming into the kitchen, we kept it super simple in here this year. Very simple. But this is like my all time favorite pumpkin this season. So it needed to be on display. It deserved, it deserved <laughs> to be right in the center. Deserved to be in the center. But what I did actually is this is a garland that we had left. We had one left over from the Stairs. staircase. So I just put it in a little like wreath form <laughs> and then put that little pumpkin. Done. Easy Simple. peasy. Easy. Yes. Well, these pumpkins, they have so many cute ones. I have a few of them as well. They are from Home Goods this season. So the Martha Stewart room. I tell you, Martha Stewart, she's doing it up yeah, at Home Goods this season really this year. Yes. We have really simple pumpkins behind us. And that's about it for the kitchen. We kept it super simple, but we wanted to do a little bit extra in the dining room. So we have this centerpiece that I keep redoing every season and love so much. If you guys remember many videos back, um, I made this centerpiece. This is so easy. I have the whole tutorial. I think I even have a reel on my Instagram how to do this centerpiece, but we have loved it mm -hmm. because I designed it six foot. So that way you can put a six foot garland in there. That's pretty much the yeah, center side the table. It's so easy. We put some two garlands in there. I added these pumpkins in that we've had for a couple years also from Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, these pigs. The only problem we're having is um, my little dog Misty <laughs> keeps coming up on the table and pulling these out of our centerpiece and, eating them. and then eating them and taking off with them. It's so, so rude. So I come in here the other day and she had chewed off the little acorns. That. I was like, so me? now we're trying to like secure it in a little <laughs> bit more I'm so like, she can't leave get Leave it up. alone, leave it alone. But this is really easy to put together. I feel like makes a statement. We also just have really simple little fall napkins for the table just to accessorize a little bit. 
Easy peasy. Looks I love great. It. You guys know one of my favorite things to decorate every single fall season is dough balls. I love these. I love to just stuff a bunch of pumpkins in them. These little pumpkins here, these metallic ones, are actually some that I also had spray painted. You would just never know. I, if I saw this at Hobby Lobby, I would buy it. <laughs> and it's just spray painted metallic. So easy. Adds a little, you know, punch of color to this and adds it, you know, gives it a little bit of visual interest as well. Um, like I was telling you guys earlier with, you know, creating a little bit of symmetry to spaces, I have vases on either side with, you know, the same stems in them. I think these stems also are from Hobby Lobby, really simple. Also creating, you know, a little triangle kind of when you're decorating. I just have varied heights. Like I was telling you guys earlier, put something on a little tray. So I like to create a little bit of repetition in spaces as I'm decorating and kind of going along because it kind of, you know, makes things feel cohesive as you go throughout the rest of the home. A recent addition to this space, we are upstairs kind of on the landing here. Uh, we found this really pretty picture from Hobby Lobby. It's, uh, it's, we just got it the other day, so it's brand new. They still have it if you want it. It reminded us of fall, and we thought it would be really pretty in this space. We've had this area like so many different things over the year, but over the years, but right now we just have it styled really simple. I found these really pretty stems. They were really affordable too. They were from at home. I believe both of these were. I think I got these ones from there as well. We have it styled in a pot that I also found at Home Goods. Like I said, they have really good stuff there right now. I have a sweet little pumpkin here. Like my mom was saying, a sweater pumpkin. When she saw this, she was like, put it in the cart. <laughs> put it in the cart immediately. And one of my favorite things about this space is actually the these, um, mom, what are these called? I can't remember, petrified wood. <laughs> petrified wood. Uh, these are from her dad actually, and when, she had them down in her office. She was looking at them and she was like, you know what? Those are so perfect for fall. So we pulled them out. I love that these have a story behind them and add a little, you know, personal touch to the space. Coming into the primary bedroom, we love to style this for each season. Something new that we did this year is actually fall bedding. We haven't done fall bedding before. We normally do Christmas bedding, but we were at Lucky Duck Deals, yeah. a local place, and they had, surprisingly enough, a California King comforter. <laughs> we couldn't believe it. Yes. It was so affordable. I love the color. It's, it's so, so fall. pretty. When we saw it, we were like, yes. fall bedding? Are you kidding? Yeah. And it was so cheap. I want to say we paid like, what? 30 bucks. $30 for it, if yeah. that. Yeah. It was so inexpensive. It was so cheap, yeah. And we also found these pillows there. These are from Target. They're the Studio McGee line, but they had them at Lucky Duck Deals for five bucks. Five bucks. So we were able to dress this up for really affordably, which I think is wonderful. And it didn't take a whole lot to yeah. do it. No, well. it didn't. No. Um, one garland that is new this year. When she saw it, she had to have it. I was it. like, yeah, I'm getting it. She's her. like, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> put it in the cart. So um, we love this garland. This is from Hobby Lobby. I feel like Hobby Lobby is a great place for chunky garlands. You yeah, know, like they, they have a lot of. Just make sure you get them on sale because otherwise yes. they can be so expensive. Sure. I feel. Yes. Always, you know the thing about Hobby Lobby? Okay. They do 40% off, and in your brain, you think it's 50%. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Because you're like, oh, oh always yeah. basically 50%. You just round. You know, just round up. Yeah. Anyway, but um, they're always running sales, so make sure you get stuff on sale. But this is a new addition for us this year. I think it's really, really pretty. I love the colors in it. This pumpkin. <laughs> it's her favorite. This it's is a fake. so good. This is the favorite. Yeah, pumpkin. it was really bad before. It was ugly. The, the pumpkin came from Hobby Lobby. It was the speckled one. Yeah. Anyway, and so I painted it and then I did the rub and buff on it, I think in the shade gold leaf. Mm -hmm. And I just rubbed this little baby up and yeah. look at it. Look yeah, at it, it looks so good. I would pay a lot of money for this if I saw it. I do. <laughs> I feel I like would too. So it although looks I I loved so I loved this little squirrel. I know. I'm like we have to get this, and she's like we're not. She's like we're not getting it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and so and then yeah, and then she found a spot for it this year. So I appreciate yeah, it. I, was I like, love the little it. squirrel. It is really sweet. It's cute, you know? right? And I'm like, and it can just live in here, so you can see it every right. day. Right. <laughs> Made it in the bedroom. And admire your little. I love squirrel. it. I love this fire place. I love all the stuff that I she keep, has done. I keep saying 
this is three years in a row. I'm like, oh, one day I'll, I'll redo this fireplace. It's so funny because it I does feel like need it. you guys think fireplaces are part of my identity. And I feel like I agree with you. Right. It does need to come down. It does agree with This is an old one. I do agree. It it's actually not even attached to the wall. No. It just It is just sitting there. It's bad. One of these days I will get around <laughs> to it. Anyway. But anyway. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this fall tour. I hope that you feel so inspired to decorate for this coming season. You guys, I think we need to start a new thing because I am so close to 100,000. I feel I know, like she's let's so close. Make sure you're subscribed. Yes. Let's start the road to 100 100k. Yeah. Right? I'm so close. So just look, just stop right now. We'll wait. Yep. Just look down there, see if you're subscribed. It's if free. you're not, yeah, it's free. It's free to subscribe. Just push subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I really appreciate this. I love 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 you, love you God, and I love I all love the work you. that you do on our house to make it special for our family. Ooh, I really it's my do. pleasure. It's so much fun. And actually what you guys don't see is that everybody gets so involved. They do. You know, Trey, Trey has been making pumpkins. Like <laughs> He doing our it. thing so yeah. it really becomes a family bonding moment and for I sure it for every year so thank you so much for being here i will see you guys in the next video bye, bye. these are so pretty these are actually i'm out of breath me too i'm trying not to breathe hard over oh the camera i'm like <laughs> it just really took it out of us okay <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um.